God will show up for you. Turn to a second person and say to him, the God of last minute intervention will answer you today. To a third person, announce to him, brother, it's your turn to shine. You receive that. Make a joyful noise to the Lord. Celebrate Jesus as you take your seat. I'm so excited seeing you here again this morning. Whether the devil likes it or not, he has lost the battle. And on these wonders of praise service, the Lord will pay you a special visit. Your lives will be totally transformed. In the name of Jesus Christ. By this time, some days ago, people were so apprehensive. But thank God for the altar we raised here in Champions Cathedral. And for all the prayers of the saints. God took control. And he will take control of your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let's appreciate the choristers as they take their seats. God bless you. And in case you are not here with us on Friday, a friend and brother, a family member is in the house. Tosin B and his entire team, uh, they were here with us on Friday when we rounded up the turnaround program. And by the grace of God, he will have his turn to minister in the course of this service. Praise the name of the Lord. Wonders of praise. Today is not a day for long exhortation. In fact, I've spent some reasonable part of my time already. Today is a day where we express ourselves in the realm of praise for God to do wonders. So I will not hinder the move of God through very long sermons today. We will just share the word that the Lord has set out, has released already for someone here. And then we go into the practical part of this service and we leave the rest for God. Now, quickly, I'd like to remind us that some of the toughest battles in scriptures we are one true praise. If you read your Bible very well, you will see that when men reached the end of the road and they didn't know what else to do and they turned to praise, the dynamics of the battle changed and started working in their favor. Your problem remains your problem. For as long as you treat it as your problem. But the moment you transfer your problem to God, it ceases to be, to be a problem, but it turns to a testimony. Praise is that spiritual medium that we use to transfer our problems to God and turn it to testimonies. I see someone transferring every challenge of his life to God on this altar of praise and you are going back home with your testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ. In 2 Chronicles chapter 20 verses 22 to 24 2 Chronicles 20, 22 to 24 Jehoshaphat and the children of Judah the Bible said as they praised and as they sang unto God their enemies started killing themselves. The battle changed. All of a sudden, men that knew how to fight now became antagonistic to themselves and they started killing each other. There's somebody in the house this morning. Your enemies will not know what hit them after this meeting. Everyone that has been coming after you will bow for your sake after this service. The louder your amen, receive it now in the name of Jesus. Why? Because God is taking over your battles. Declare to your neighbor. Say neighbor. neighbor. 
in this service, I am transferring my battles to the one that can do all things. And I will receive my testimonies. You believe that? Shout aloud. Amen. Amen. Now, the praise in this first service is the praise for last minute intervention. <laughs> hear me and hear me very well. Next Sunday is Thanksgiving service. Before you come for next Sunday's meeting, you'll be sharing your testimonies. <laughs> because the God of the last minute will intervene for you in this service. Turn with me to Acts of Apostles chapter 16. Acts of Apostles chapter 16. And I'll read from verse 22. Acts of Apostles chapter 16. Verse 22. It says, And the multitude rose up together against them, Paul and Silas. And the magistrates rent off their clothes and commanded to beat them. And when they had laid many stripes upon them, they cast them into prison, charging the jailer to keep them safely. Remember, you see, when they tell you to keep a prisoner safely, is either that prisoner is an expensive prisoner, or he has been packaged for death. And so they charge the jailer, keep this man safely. Who, having received such a charge, thrust them into the inner prison and made their feet fast in the stocks. But at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God and the prisoners heard them. And suddenly, there was a great earthquake. So that the foundations of the prison were shaken. And immediately, all the doors were opened. And everyone's bands were loosed. Very popular part of scriptures that you read every day. But the point here is this. These men were beaten silly. They beat them black and blue. You know the way you beat a criminal. After beating them, they threw them into prison. The inner part of the prison. And hear me very well. Their case was so critical because by the next day they were going to be executed. So it was the nick of time. They have done all they knew how to do. But nothing changed. But in the midnight of the ordeal, the Bible said they praised. As they were praising God, the God of last minute intervention showed up. And suddenly, there was an earthquake. The prison doors opened. The foundations shaking. Everyone's band loose. Freedom came by force. Somebody is walking into freedom tonight, this morning. It happened suddenly. And by the time the jailer realized that the gates were open, the Bible said, if you read on, he wanted to commit suicide. Because they had warned him, if anything happens to these prisoners, you are dead. But they came and said to him, you don't need to commit suicide. We are here. We just want to let you know that the God we have been praising has the capacity to do what no man can do. There's somebody here. It doesn't matter whatever is hanging on your neck. In the meeting of this morning, the God of last minute intervention will show up for you. So God intervened at the nick of time. At the nick of time. You know, you see, there's a kind of situation you find yourself and you've done everything you know how to do but there's no result forthcoming or you find yourself at the very darkest moment of your life not knowing what next to do 
grace is the answer. The God of last minute intervention will show up for somebody here today in the name of Jesus. Hear me very well. You can't beat praise in battle. Take note. There is no battle that can beat praise. The only battle that can beat praise is the battle that can beat your God. If that battle cannot beat God, it cannot beat praise. And on this altar, as you raise an altar of praise unto the Lord, all your battles will end in this meeting. The louder your amen, receive it now in the name of Jesus. So in this first service, praise him with understanding. Don't dance anyhow because you want to dance. Dance like somebody that wants God to intervene in a last minute situation. Praise him like somebody who understands that God is set to move miraculously in his life. And you will go home with your testimonies. Are we ready to praise him now? Are we ready to praise him? Rise up on your feet. Rise up on your feet. And talk to the Lord. Tell him, Father, I am raising an altar of praise for you this morning. Upon this altar, intervene on my behalf. Every situation that has defied solution. Father, as I praise you in this service, let there be divine intervention. Go ahead and pray that prayer with understanding you are the God of last minute intervention the altar is free is open you can raise an altar wherever you are if you can't find your way to the altar in front Release yourself in the place of praise. Father, as I praise you this morning, intervene in every challenge of my life. Let the tides turn in my favor. I will not live here the same way I came. Every battle that requires last minute intervention on this altar of praise, Father, take them over, take them over, take them over, take them over. Thank you, everlasting Father.